Thank you for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time, we appreciate your time. In this episode, we are looking at the United States African Leadership Summit that recently ended. The question here is, was this a new beginning for the United States with Africa or is an old wine in a new bottle? We will examine this like never before seen. We shall be diving into some specifics, looking at the ambitious agendas and also the dedication in terms of the balance regards to Africa and how ending on a high note was very important regards to that particular relationship. So we encourage you to watch this video to the end for clarity and better understanding. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. The US African Leaders Summit, which included delegates from 49 countries and the African Union was held in Washington, D.C. from December 13 to 15th of 2022. The summit focused on deepening and expanding the U.S.-African partnership and giving voices to Africans in meeting current global challenges. The summit addressed substantive issues like climate change, food security, and human rights without dwelling on America's concern about China or Russian influence on the continent of Africa. While specific details remain to be worked out during this particular event, the three most important deliverables at that summit were the United States' support for the African Union to become a member of the G20, a promise of over 55 billion US dollars in aid to Africa over the next three years, and a commitment from President Joe Biden to visit Africa in 2023. Moving forward, delegations from 49 African countries and the African Union traveled to the United States to attend the US African Leadership Summit. Earlier, those particular months that it happened as of December of 2022. Burkina Faso, Mali, Guinea, and Sudan were not invited because the African Union has suspended them over unconstitutional changes in governments at the time, and Eritrea was excluded because the United States does not currently have diplomatic relations with that nation. According to a senior Biden administration official, the summit was to focus on deepening and expanding the long-term U.S.-African partnership and advancing shared priorities, amplifying African voices to collaboratively meet new eras defining challenges. The United States announced major initiatives in led up to the summit, which included U.S. support for making the African Union a member of the G20, as we've pointed out, and the promise of over 55 billion U.S. dollars to Africa over the next three years. This was the first U.S.-African summit since August of 2014. While there was hope that the 2022 summit will reverse the decades of beginning neglect of Africa in the U.S. policy making. It was not without skepticism. Senegalese President Marque Sale, who is also president of the African Union at the time, signaled that Africans want closer ties with the United States, but as an active partner, not just sitting and patiently listening to what the Americans want. While the goals of the summit were ambitious and welcome. It should not be forgotten that implementation of many of those proposals will require the cooperation of the United States of American Congress. Moving forward, in considering how ambitious this particular summit was with regards to African relationship, one of the main goals of the summit was to narrow the trust gap that has also developed between the United States and African nations over the years, and also expressing the frustration with America's apparent lack of true commitment to the continent of Africa. When asked about the shadow that China and Russia might cast on the summit, White House Press Secretary Karin Jean-Pierre said, this summit is an opportunity to deepen the many partnerships we have had on the African continent. We will focus on our efforts to strengthen those partnerships across a wide range of sectors, spanning from business to health to peace and also security. The summit agenda was ambitious, working in a partnership with a focus on both practical ways to strengthen ties and advance shared priorities in recognition of Africa's role as a major geopolitical player with some of the world's fastest growing economies. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken said during his trip to Africa in August of 2022, Africa shaped our past, is shaping our present and will shape our future. Moving forward, 
Those themes that the summit focus on including working with the African diaspora and young African leaders, global health and food security, climate change and also energy, and infrastructural investment. During the summit, main events and side events, ways were discussed to advance mutual beneficial partnership, to create jobs and enhances inclusive and sustainable growth through stable partnership and investment that enable businesses in the United States of America and to develop and flourish within the region. The United States' commitment to working with Africa to address global health and food security and recognizing that 16 of the 20 countries most vulnerable to climate change are in sub-Saharan Africa. To the team with African countries and communities to build climate adaptability of infrastructure, water, health and food system, a whole day of the summit was devoted to a session on supporting conservation, climate adaptation and a just energy transition. If you look at balancing this particular commitment in regards to the summit, despite the ambitious agenda, and a clear signal that administrations look to reset U.S.-African relations on a more equitable basis. There were sticking points. A week before the summit kicked off, there was a complaint that there were no bilateral meetings scheduled between President Joe Biden and other of the attending meeting head of state. Biden did, however, personally announce in his support for the African Union joining the G20 as a permanent member, and he hosted a dinner for leaders Blinken and other senior State Department officials also met with many of the heads of states and foreign ministers as well. Concern about Chinese and Russian activities on the continent of Africa figured prominently in the administration, African strategy, which was issued in November of 2022, but the decision was made not to make those two countries a focus of the summit. Looking forward, America's focus on good governance and respect for human rights and rule of law was called into question when African leaders like Chiojuro Obiangema Basongo of Equatorial Guinea, long-time leader, were invited to attend the summit. An article in Foreign Policy published on the first day of the summit stated that Washington is worried about prospect of a Chinese naval base on the African Atlantic coast and is seeking to discuss Obiang from drawing closer to Beijing. The article went on to say that by courting Obiang, Critics say that the Biden administration is showing democratic activities in Equatorial Guinea and also across the African autocratic countries in Africa, that it talks on democracy and human rights is just talk. If looking at different aspects with regards to ending on a high note with regards to that particular summit in drawing down this episode and constraint on how the summit ended on a higher note, on December the 15th, President Biden over a ceremony during which he stressed his administration's deep commitment to Africa. He urged the African leaders to respect the will of their people. In addition, he spoke of the U.S. plan to deliver over $55 billion U.S. dollars in assistance and teased a possible presidential visit to Africa. He did not give details of either the aid, which will require the support of the Congress of the United States, or his possible visit. According to a U.S. Senior Director for Africa Affairs at the National Security Council, who said that the President not only plans to visit Africa himself, but will encourage other senior members of his cabinet to go as well. The overreaching messages from the administration that Africa's matter is underscored by the fact that by 2050, Africa will contain one quarter of the world's population, will be the youngest continent on the planet, demographically and with its 15 four countries will be the most or be the largest regional voting blocks in the United Nations General Assembly. This summit was taking an important first step to highlight the significance and the importance of Africa for the American public and to beginning to reversing the attitude of being neglected and has existed for so long. It now remains to be seen for the administration to maintain course and convince Congress to cooperate. In addition, the leadership of Africa's countries must commit to addressing the domestic issues that impair development, such as corruption and lack of inclusivity in the government. If the United States of America and African commit to keeping the promises and focus on what's good for the population on both sides of the ocean, the future can be bright. 
let us know what you think with regards to that particular summit drop us a comment and also let us know if your country having some impact or with regards to the geopolitics in the region and express yourself in the comment section and keep the conversation going we want to thank you for watching hopefully we've informed you with regards to the global perspective and the strategy behind the u.s african leaders summit was this a new beginning or an old wine in a new bottle is left to be seen we want to thank you for watching check some other informative video on our youtube channel we are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode have a good day bye bye